I think that you're going to be faced with so many other immediate and constant threats to your survival. Like your entire time there is going to be dedicated to staying alive, to maintaining all the systems that are keeping you alive. So if in spare moments you have time that you're not sleeping because you're so mortally exhausted by that, I don't know that having sex is going to figure pretty highly. But then again, I mean, you know, it is our oldest, most innate uh, instinct. It's an instinct that we all have. Perché il fatto che lui scelga di partire piuttosto che restare sulla terra e eh, avere una vita, insomma un futuro insieme a me, eh, mi fa sentire infatti non abbastanza, ma cioè, ci, sto lavorando, sto cercando di, di convincerlo a restare. Sentiamo sì. che se gli provi, cioè nel caso io gli provi... Eh, di essere la, la ragazza, la, la donna fatta per lui, quindi con cui può avere un, un futuro certo, uh, penso che lui possa scegliere me. I'm not sure to be in love with her at 100%. She's sure about you, though. Pardon? She is sure about you. Yeah, uh, I have to say, unfortunately, yes. Well, me and Alit were classmates at medicine school, and we started to be closer when we met each other during an exam, and she's arrived. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Hey, Ciao, Anna. Are you ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> With Anna, I feel uh, attracted sometimes. I'm just scared to try to be more than friends. I don't want to risk to lose her. Since you're dating Anna, I assume that Anna has things that neither Anna or Alita have. W what is that? What does Anna have that the other girls don't have? After graduation, uh, my parents, they are searching for boy for me. And uh, it's a pure arranged marriage. At the first view, I'm not satisfied. But mine is a very big family. And th they all force me to get along with this marriage. Uh, actually, um, a big fight with Shraddha's father and me. Shraddha is, I think, eight months or nine months old. And during a rainy day, I took her, went out. I thought of uh, putting an end to my life, but by seeing my uh, daughter's face, I just changed my decision. At the age of eight or nine, Shraddha's father, he drink a lot and uh, coming late at night and lots of quarrels, beating. I'm suffering a lot by seeing all that. Um, Shraddha said one day, we will move from this house. That's better for your health and for me also. Here's your perch up here. I have that sense of adventure that, okay, I'm gonna take off and I don't know if I'm coming back. This has been a learning process because I'm in a relationship with somebody who's not like that. You know, even the trips we took, like last year, she's like, that's too long, I have to come back. <laughs> Ever since I was really little, sometimes I can like look, I can look at the sky and I see pictures and the pictures will, they'll like kind of like just appear and they look really real. And uh, years ago, before I ever found out about Mars when I was sitting there and this picture kind of like, came and I, uh, I was in the scene, and the scene was me on another planet. And then when I found out about Mars when I was like, oh, maybe that's what that is. And it made a lot of sense. 
five meters of Martian sand gives you the equivalent protection to Earth's atmosphere. So yeah, you would kind of be, it's not only a one-way trip, you're also living underground and you're able to go outside for one hour a day. What um, I'm trying to do here is participate in the thought revolution that needs to precede our expansion into the solar system. I'm not trying to come up with slogans that you can put on a bumper sticker that will somehow convince people that going to Mars is a good idea. I'm trying to inspire in them what it is that makes us human. I'm trying to appeal to their curiosity, I'm trying to appeal to their desire to learn. I'm trying to appeal to their desire to understand people and maybe if they can understand what it is that drives me to go to Mars, then they can also be inspired to learn a lot more things. After the accident, uh, I couldn't hold my own. It was uh, a load for me because literally you're just this 17 years old boy who relies on his father in everything. And um, suddenly you're not just responsible for yourself, but also for your 13 years old uh, brother. Uh, I was his father, his mother. I didn't get the chance to hang out with my friends a lot or like travel, explore the world, explore Egypt even. Because, uh, and now this 18 year old who's responsible, I'm in charge 